there's a bite right there. All right. Oh, that's a good pull right there. Whoa, darn it. Whoa, darn it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome back, everybody. You're on your Southwest Outdoors report today. Down at Lake Whitney. Wow. Checking out the striper fishing. I'm just dragging a soft plastic jerk bait through them. We're talking about golden algae today. Oh, there's a good fish right there. Yeah, look at this. My fishing guide friend, the guy who's helping us out today and put us on these fish is Randy Ruth, Redneck Guide Service here at Lake Whitney. He's on this lake constantly and stays on these stripers. I'm gonna try to get this one in a net right here. There you go, brother. All right, come aboard. And Randy is talking about the golden algae and Randy says that this lake is about 23,000 acres and Texas Parks and Wildlife Department estimated fish kill, total fish kill of about 68,000 and that includes shad, rough fish, everything. He did the math and Randy says that equates to about two and a half fish per acre and most of them shad. That was the total kill off. So basically this lake has been unaffected and the striper fishing has made it through in fantastic shape and uh, that's a good one right there. We're going to let him go back though. All right. That was a lot of fun. So we're gonna do a little more fishing. In a minute, I'm gonna tell you about the report from further up the Brazos River system at Possum Kingdom. Randy Woods is my guide buddy up there and we'll tell you what he said coming up a little bit later. But right now, here's Gary Dollahan in Oklahoma. With nearly 12,000 miles of shoreline, Oklahoma actually has more miles than the fabled land of the lakes itself, the state of Minnesota. That means lots of fishing opportunities for this upcoming Memorial Day weekend. You don't like the big crowds? Stay away from the big waters. Pick one of the many hundreds of smaller waters managed around the state for fishing. If you don't know where those are, go to wildlifedepartment.com, scroll through their website, and find the Oklahoma Fishing Atlas. It's a great online resource to find out where these waters are, the type of fish in them, and the available facilities around those. The other thing Memorial Day reminds me of is it's a great time of year to start your top water fishing. With our recent rains, some of the waters are up into the shoreline grass, and the other waters have emerging vegetation right now, be it either grass or the lily pads on top. Both of those situations are excellent for the three-legged floating frog, also the 11 and 12 inch worms rigged weedless, and to swim those across the top through the vegetation itself. Come to the vegetation, get to the edge, stop, let it float. If it's a worm, let it sink. A lot of times the explosion is as much fun as catching the fish itself. Also right now in Oklahoma, we have a lot of bluegill on the banks spawning. Look for the round circular areas along the banks. Many times you'll see the fish on these. It's hard to beat a live cricket or worm underneath a small bobber for that. The crappie jigs work well also. The one thing about it, you can't catch them if you don't go. See you on the water. This week on your Lowrance Hot Lake of the Week, I'm going to show you a good channel catfishing lake and largemouth bass lake up in northeast Texas in the Four Corners, Four State area, a little north of Paris, Texas. It's Pat Mays Lake. It's located 12 miles north of Paris. Let's show it to you now on the Lowrance HDS, the big 10-inch unit that's the high-res unit. Got all my InSight mapping data, my serious satellite weather and structure scan all in one unit. We see Pat Mays Lake located just west of US 271. It's 6,000 surface acres, 55 feet maximum depth. It's an old lake impounded in 1967. The water here stays fairly murky year round. It's good for bass catfish and occasional hybrid stripers, but they haven't been stocked since 2000. Now we switch to the Navionics Hot Maps Platinum Chart and we locate two good Corps of Engineer parks on the north shoreline. Pat Mays West and Pat Mays East. The best channel cat fishing is along the dam and in the creeks along the north shoreline. Channel cats will be spawning in the month of June. We zoom in again to show some more creeks along both of those parks. This is some good bass fishing. The lake record for largemouth bass is about 14 pounds and the bass will hang along these points and along these creek channels. Stay with us, Cajun Phil and Kevin are next up with Cajun Bites, your fishing reports from Louisiana. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealers, is brought to you by quality award-winning tracker boats, fish the finest, by Lowrance, makers of the HDS, high definition systems, and by Gene LaRue Lures and Bobby Garland Bates, 
quality soft plastic baits made in Oklahoma with American pride.